the temptress, the sexual taunt, the lady with no other goal but to seduce their prey. Michael Jackson had a pension for writing about these femme fatales, who were only after one thing. Dirty Diana, Billie Jean, Heartbreak Hotel, Dangerous, who is this woman after the star? Could he have been singing about those various groupies, stalkers, and girlfriends, who were after his fortune? Or was the singer just a misogynist, sexist, woman hater? The founder of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud, is best known for his neuro theories around sexuality and the unconscious mind, he in fact coined the term, ego. Way back in the early 1900s, Freud identified a psychological dichotomy in his male patients known as the Madonna Whore Complex. Men with this complex saw women as either saints or prostitutes, loving the first and desiring the second, though never intertwining both. As Freud said, where such men love, they have no desire and where they desire, they cannot love. The theory originally was said to stem from a man's relationship with his mother. My mother. I, I don't know anybody like her. She's like a mother Teresa. Very few people like that. Today, the Madonna whore dichotomy ultimately means that women have to be either pure and virginal, or sexual and forthcoming. Never both. The artist had a pension for putting the stereotypical innocent in one category and the bad in another. It has been long documented his look at children as innocent shown throughout his music and interactions. It has also been documented that he put very precious women in his life in an almost angel-like category, women including his mother, Catherine as well as his sisters, most notably Janet. It should be noted that once betrayed or fallen into the evil category, his sister Latoya, whom he had once been very close to had fallen into the temptress category once betraying him in the mid-90s, following the 93 allegations. Throughout his life his personal relationships would be fleeting and full of betrayal. You know, one to one with alcohol, gang, being around him, you know. I just the support for me. And I want to be with you, I don't care. I really want to be with you. Well, I'm going to be with you. I love 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 you. Because I don't love those people. I want to be with someone. I want to know what a relationship is all about before I die. Can you want to tell that crazy? I've never had, I mean, I've been with Kate. I've been, I'm not with Kate. I've been with Kate. I thought I was with Diana. It was just in my own mind. You were a little boy. I know. I've never had a relationship. My brothers have been married. My brothers have had girlfriends. I really haven't had that. Uh, how long, I mean, how long did it take you to get up with Diana? Years, I tell them about you. I just want to know what it's like to have a real relationship with someone who doesn't want me for me, that I don't, I don't have to look over my shoulder all the time. That's another level of your life. Yes, it doesn't question me that I don't want to die without knowing about this. Having a real relationship with a woman. Well, I I was involved, but we never did it. Never was that way. But that was your intention. That wasn't hers. I mean, I was the girl. The girl had my nose wide open. Okay, <laughs> she could grab a drink. Come through my nose. That is the craziest. I love her. The black bag. But I love her so much. God, I would give her money, I would give her jewelry, I would give her house, a car, whatever. But we never did enough. She wanted all of me, my mom. She wanted, she wanted a relationship. She knew how I was from the beginning, it wasn't like she was. Well, she was probably hoping that that, that it would change. Because I'm sure she didn't. Not until I got married. Well, I know, but, I know that, but I'm sure that she loved you and her have been with somebody that many years. I loved her so much, I didn't want to see that. I did not want to see that. And I knew she was fooling around. I knew for, I know for a fact. Well, don't you think by the traffic, you must have acted she was such a strong person and that she she stood up for you and your dad? Yeah. She was always there. Wasn't that a lot of the attraction? I mean, because she always did you. Oh, yeah. And I was so annoyed. I didn't have my nose wide open, and I didn't want to believe what was really going on. You know, that's what you were saying? 
know, I don't regret that I can speak with her. I'm glad I did. I want to experience what I haven't experienced before, never being a normal human. Having a relationship with someone like that, I've never had. Is that good for anyone? Well, I have it. Okay. And that's what I want. Tatiana Thumzin, and once vet close girlfriend during the bad era, would be ousted from the entourage following a public kiss and conversation in interview Jackson saw as disrespectful. Throughout his songs he would reveal how he felt he should be treated, with an almost unquestionable nature. The song Give In To Me, off Jackson's 1991 album Dangerous, would echo sentiments such as Jackson's ex-wife, Lisa Marie Presley, would echo about the way the artist operated within their relationship. How did it end? What happened? Yeah. Um, there was a very profound point in the marriage when he had to make a decision. Was it the drugs and the, and the sort of vampires? or me, and he pushed me away. In the late 90s, Jackson would release the song, Blood on the Dance Floor, which would see him dodge the femme fatale from the point of almost being killed. 